Hello everyone. Let's talk about column chromatography and discovery of DNA polymerase. Column chromatography can be of various types depending on the material you packed in the column. It is widely used for the purification of proteins and enzyme. Adsorption column chromatography will separate proteins and enzymes based on their adsorption characteristic. Gel permeation chromatography will separate them on the basis of the size and ion exchange column chromatography will separate them on the basis of the net charge. Now let's talk about some amazing application of column chromatography. So in 1953 when Watson and Crick published their work on double helical structure of DNA in those days, it was still unclear how the replication of DNA occurs. Scientists had a hypothesis that there might be an enzyme in the cell that could replicate the DNA. To test this hypothesis, author Kornberg designed a brilliant experiment. He grew the culture collected the biomass and isolated the proteins and enzymes from the biomass. Once proteins and enzymes were isolated, he subjected them through alumina adsorption column chromatography. During chromatography, he collected hundreds of fractions. Each fraction will have the protein or enzyme that were originally present inside the cell. Now the question is, out of hundreds of fractions that he collected, which fraction has the enzyme DNA polymerase? To find this, he took the template DNA along with labeled DNTPs. Each fraction was then added to this mixture. After incubation, the DNA was precipitated and checked for radioactivity. Surprisingly, one of the fractions showed the presence of labeled nucleotides in the template DNA. And so it was this fraction that contained the enzyme DNA polymerase, the enzyme responsible for replication of DNA. Since it was the first DNA polymerase to be isolated, he called it as DNA polymerase 1. This discovery was so amazing that he was awarded Nobel Prize in the year 1959. And this amazing discovery was made possible with the use of simple technique known as column chromatography.